Meet Chef Babette, a 73-year-old whose vitality, beauty, flawless skin, and overall health puts question marks on some medical research and unbelievably takes some health professors back to their study notes. This 73-year-old grandma has all the age-defying qualities that have inspired both young and old to live a healthier lifestyle. Many doctors and health enthusiasts alike are stunned at how she keeps proving that age is merely a number. And you can age as gracefully and sexily as she is doing. Look at Chef Babette. You may think that she has always lived or maintained a healthy lifestyle. But contrary to what most people think, she made horrible health and life choices that would have destroyed her life. It was not until she was 40 years old that she started her transformational journey into a healthier and more beautiful life. Chef Babette's journey to eternal youth began when she transitioned into a vegan lifestyle, a radical approach that has since become her trademark. Through simple dietary changes and holistic practices, she has unlocked the secrets to lasting vitality. According to her, At 65 years old, I, I didn't really understand what I was supposed to be like because I still felt 40. During her visit to Tamron Hall's show, she said, We're sick as a nation. And the reason we're so sick is because of what we consume. Mainly. Mainly. And our emotions, what we think. So what exactly are the other secrets up in Chef Babette's sleeves that ensure she remains like fine wine throughout her aging process? I've spent the last three months watching every interview of Chef Babette, and in the next few minutes, I will reveal all of Chef Babette's secrets. You will get an inside scoop on her skincare rituals, exact food menu, her top shelf signature elixir of youthfulness, her fulfilling love life, the supplements she swears by, and in the end, I will reveal three surprising foods she avoids like the plague. Let's begin with her signature diet. A single date with her second husband, Rondell Davis, in 1990 enlightened her to see life in a different light and automatically made her change her lifestyle for good, turning her into the chef babette that you see and admire today, the queen of vegan diet. Let's hear from Chef Babette herself as she tells us what made her choose the vegan lifestyle. I um, started my journey at age 40 in 1990 when I met my husband, Rondell Davis. And um, I became vegan, started working out. As a matter of fact, my first date with him, he took me to Griffith Park to run the hills. He ran the whole thing backwards past the observatory. And I'm looking at this man. He's two years older than me. Wow. So he's 42. I'm looking at him and I'm thinking, if he can run this backwards, one day I am going to be able maybe to stay at a walker space, but in a running mode and I'm going to run this hill and I can do that. She lives by the principle that food should be fun and tasty. But the best way of eating meals is to make sure that you don't overcook the meals to the point of killing the nutrients. More than this, she believes that our food are medicinal and can change our lives for good if we consume them the right way. She makes sure she starts her day early enough to prep her meals, which consists of freshly prepared meals that are mostly raw and plant-based. And self-love. And I mean that. My days start around 2, 2.30 in the morning. I still prep all the food and stuff I eat. I um, work, get a workout in every day. I make sure that I'm nourishing myself. People, you must nourish yourself. You cannot just sit in front of a plate of dead food and feel like you're gonna be feeding your cells the necessary nutrients that they need. But she still enjoys foods like, I have burritos, quesadillas, tacos, enchiladas, Cause all that I'm selling. For her famous elixir of youth, I'll share it after a couple of minutes. But first, let's find out what science has to say about vegan diet and anti-aging. An article by BMC Medicine states, the diet is one of the primary modifiable lifestyle factors and plant-based dietary patterns prevent the development of chronic diseases and promote better age-related neurological health such as a lower risk of dementia and cognitive impairment. The plant-based dietary pattern is generally defined as a higher intake of various plant foods, such as fruits and vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, and lower consumption of animal foods. Individual plant-based food groups have been linked to slower biological aging. 
In an interesting study of 6,308 older adults from the Melbourne Collaborative Cohort Study, it was found that adherence to the fruit pattern was positively associated with an absence of major chronic diseases and major limitations of physical function while maintaining good mental health. An example, successful aging. And adherence to the meaty fatty pattern was inversely associated with successful aging over a mean of 11.7 year of follow-up. It's no wonder that Chef Babette's famous elixir of youth also consists of 100% raw vegan ingredients and you are right for believing her famous green juice contributes majorly to her staying beautiful, youthful, and so sexy. The ingredients to her elixir of youth are readily available in your backyard or at local grocery stores. She makes it using these exact measurements. Two bunches of organic cilantro, two lemons or limes, six green apples, and two thumbs of ginger. Even though most people consider this juice very simple because of the regular ingredients it is prepared with, Chef Babette insists that people need to try it and also include it in their daily meals because it is effective and works wonders for the body. Because diet alone isn't enough, Chef Babette has other self-practices that play crucial roles in her staying youthful, energetic, and excited about life. And they are mindfulness and exercising. Chef Babette is a strong believer that exercise and mindfulness are a form of self-care that everyone must do. She lives by the belief that living and enjoying each moment of our lives provides one's body with an improved mood and mind. As part of her daily routine, Chef Babette starts her day early and ends it early too because she is someone who believes that waking up early and going to bed early is advantageous to one's life and well-being. Likewise, over the years, she has made daily exercising and mindful meditation a lifestyle. To show how important this is to her, Chef Babette takes a little time off work every day to meditate. She does this by just closing her eyes briefly and meditating. She also loves getting massages as much as she can. Some of the fitness exercises Chef Babette does are planks, weightlifting, running hills, and push-ups. And on the days she is busy in her restaurant, she takes time to exercise, even on the kitchen floor, to build the type of body she desires, which you and I admire today. Chef Babette has had to work with several personal trainers at different points, like Venue Moore, Dino Mosley, and Brian Clements. As hard as this might sound, in her old age, she loves to set tough goals for herself and pushes towards achieving them just like she did on her 72nd birthday when she challenged herself to 100 push-ups and actually fulfilled them. Exercise is the number one common factor among all the people above 80 who are still youthful and intend to live a more healthy life. But how exactly does exercise make you live longer and happier? An article by Harvard Health Publishing has this to say about exercising. Endurance exercise is also the best way to protect the body's metabolism from the effects of age. It reduces body fat, sensitizes the body's tissue to insulin, and lowers blood sugar levels. Exercise boosts the HDL, or good cholesterol, and lowers the level of LDL, or bad cholesterol, and triglycerides. And the same types of activity will fight some of the neurological and psychological changes of aging. Endurance exercise boosts mood and improves sleep, countering anxiety and depression. In addition, it improves reflex time and helps stave off age-related memory loss. All in all, many of the changes that physiologists attribute to aging are caused by disuse. Using your body will keep it young. Also, Andrew Huberman, an American neuroscience professor and podcaster, agrees that long-term changes that occur in human personality and neuroplasticity are brought about by meditation practices. These changes can include altering your default mood, lowering your baseline levels of anxiety and despair, improving your ability to focus, relaxing, getting better sleep, and feeling happier overall. Now, as Steve Jobs said, deciding what not to do is as important as deciding what to do. Knowing the value of this statement as regards to healthy lifestyle and abiding strictly by it, Chef Babette has foods she avoids at all costs, and she advises you to do the same too. Number one on this list is coffee which Chef Babette disagrees with the result of the research by the American Heart Association. This says that drinking moderate cups of coffee can lower the risks of developing diabetes and heart disease. 
To this result, Chef Babette says that it is totally untrue because caffeine is bad for you. Other foods she avoids consuming include overly processed foods, canned food, greasy meals, overly cooked food, alcohol, recreational drugs, and animal protein. The thing with buying packaged food is that on the back of the package, you got to read the ingredients. And a lot of times it's two or three paragraphs of ingredients. I don't care if it is vegan, um, but if it's got a bunch of stuff in it that I can't pronounce, I'm not too crazy about ingesting it. Reason being that they contain too much sugar and have fats in them, can be addictive, can damage the brain cells, and can cause cancer. She also confessed that the first time one of her friends tried to sell her some herbs, she refused them. But later on, she gifted her three books that quickly influenced her diet change. Those books are Mucusless Healing Diet System by Arnold Eric, Fit for Life and Fit for Life 2 by Harvey and Marilyn Diamond. These books influenced the way she lived her life, and the testament is what we see and admire today. Once I read those books, um, and I began to really get serious about the suggestions in the book, my world changed. It really and truly did. I pretty much transitioned overnight. I, I, I was a, a believer quick. The asthma went away, eczema went away, my skin cleared up, no more of the acid reflux. No, all of those things went away. In support of Chef Babette's belief in practice, a medical lifestyle journal written by National Library of Medicine states that many people recognize that junk food, fast food, processed food, white flour, sugar, maple syrup, honey, agave nectar, and all the junk people are eating contribute to in obesity, diabetes, heart attacks, strokes, dementia, and cancer. But many don't realize the strong causative role an unhealthy diet may have in mental illness. Currently, one in five Americans suffers from a psychiatric disorder, and many people don't realize the harm that processed foods have on Americans living in urban areas where they don't have easy access to whole fresh foods. With all her research and practices, Chef Babette is a strong believer that our food is our medicine, and she is insistent on consuming the right diet and also helping people who want to take the same route as her. It is with this burning desire to help people eat rightly that Chef Babette drew up her own vegan recipe and opened a vegan soul food restaurant in Los Angeles. Perfect skincare. To cap it all off, Chef Babette's lifestyle is a huge part of her skincare. It goes to say that what she ingests makes her look stunning. And as surprising as it might sound, she confirms that she has not had any job done on her face. Not even a Botox injection. I'm supposed to look. That's how I'm going to look. Now, I don't choose to do any work to the face. Wow. I'm not going to do this that. This is all real? Oh, yeah. I have not had any work done to the face. Now She listed some of her simple but effective skincare regimens. Some of them are the use of coconut oil on the skin, getting enough sunlight, but also being careful not to expose her skin too much to the sun. And lastly, her diet hydrates her skin and holds it up nicely. You will agree with me that Chef Babette's journey towards a healthy lifestyle shows and proves that it is never too late to start and that you can start at your present age and still slow down your aging process with a combination of a healthy vegan diet, mindfulness, exercise and self-love, you can enjoy an amazing, awesome, healthy life just like her. And the best part is, you get to have that banging, glowing and toned body even at a very old age. All that matters is that you make up your mind today. Don't forget to check out our next video.